Welcome Year 6 to Gomi Technologies Kitchen, our newly refurbished kitchen. Today we are going to be cooking with 8G and we are cooking chunky chocolate chip cookies. You can find this recipe on your Edmodo account. So today you're going to learn how to measure accurately. So who would like to tell me how to measure my first ingredient which is flour? Jen. Perfect, so I got rid of all my air bubbles and I have a beautiful, accurate measure of flour. Excellent, what's the next ingredient on the list? Baking powder. So, this is what baking powder looks like and it says I need a quarter of a, girls? What, a quarter of a what? A teaspoon, that looks like that. All right, so you at home in year six, you can make this at home using the recipe and if you have this equipment, you can start looking at it and refreshing. So it's a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Next ingredient, ladies, what is it? A quarter of a cup of butter. So this is softened, it's been left out for a little while so it's not hard. So when we put our beaters into it, it's going to mix nicely and it's not gonna to be too hard for us. So put that to the side. The next ingredient is? Brown sugar, excellent, all right. Penny, tell me how to measure brown sugar. Pack it down, level it out. Pack it down and level it out. Do I use the round part of the knife or the flat part of the knife? Flat part. Excellent, and we pack it off. Beautiful, accurate measure. Okay, so there's my ingredients done. The next part is, what do I need? An egg. An egg. All right, so I have my egg here. But I'm not going to crack my egg into my bowl because of what? Lydia, what could potentially, oh, Coralie, you tell me. Um, so we can check that the egg isn't rotten. Excellent, so the egg's not rotten. And secondly? So there's no eggshells. Excellent, no eggshells, because otherwise that'll ruin our cookies and it won't taste very nice. So we're gonna tap it down on a flat surface, not on the edge, flat surface. Then we have a nice dent. You're going to put your thumbs either side of that dent and you're going to pull the egg apart and it will fall beautifully into your little vessel. I'm going to put that to the side. Okay, and the next step is salt. So we need a pinch of salt and we're going to put the salt into our dry ingredients, these ones. So again, a quarter of a teaspoon, tap it on the edge of your vessel and put it in. Finally, we have our chocolate chips. They've been weighed out, ready to go and measured. So we're going to start now. We're gonna follow our recipe. Step one, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So you'll need a parent at home to do that for you. However, we've done it today in our oven. All right, the next step, line baking paper, uh, baking trays with baking paper, which are here. Okay, in a bowl, mix your flour, baking powder until combined and we've added our salt as well. So give it a little spur. You don't need to sift the flour. It's not a large enough quantity to worry about sifting because it's going to get some air in it without beating them in it. All right, the next step. We're going to get our bowl of sugar and butter and we're going to cream it. Now, creaming is a technique to break this all down and change its state to a creamy state. So put your arm over to guide it so we don't end up putting it everywhere. And it's very important that your butter is softened for this, otherwise it'll go flying around the kitchen. Mum won't, or dad or auntie or grandma won't be very happy with you if that happens. All right, so I'm slowly getting this combined. And what will happen, it will st change its state from little chunks and it'll go into a nice creamy paste. So don't let go of the bowl because it may go flying across the kitchen as well. So, here we go, see how it's changing state? Yep, and it's going creamier. We're gonna wait till it goes really creamy and then we're gonna add our egg. All right, can you see the difference in state? Yep? Okay, so now's the fun bit, we're gonna add our egg. We didn't get any eggshell in there, did I? There's no eggshell, there's no yucky smell. Okay, so it's good, so that can go in now. I'm going to place 
Make sure you keep tidy and clean and place things in the sink, ready to be washed up. Okay, so now it's getting really creamy. Okay, it should sort of look like whipped cream. We make it nice and fluffy. So if you have an electric beater, it makes life a lot easier, otherwise you're going to have to beat it by hand. Okay, and that's it. All right, so that's the start of the batter. The next step is to slowly add our dry ingredients. So we're just going to click clean. I'm not going to add all of this at once. What will happen if I add it all at once? It will explode. It will explode. It will go everywhere. We don't need that. So a little bit at a time and just fold it in. So folding is a method of in in uh, getting all of your ingredients to combine without being too harsh. Okay, so we're just gonna lift it up and fold it over itself. And now I can add the rest of my ingredients. Folding it over itself. So that we have a nice mixture. Now this is going to be a nice soft cookie dough. All right, not a firm one. So you can't use this to make, use your cookie cutters on this dough. All right, what do I need to do next? Excellent, add the chocolate chips. Now if I don't want chocolate chips or I don't have chocolate chips at home, what could I add instead? Oats. Oats, excellent. Sultanas, Sultanas. excellent. Anything else? Chocolate chunks. Chocolate chunks. Pardon? Nuts, yes, if you wanted some peanut butter, you could add that. So, but if you wanted to change the colour of it, you could take out a little bit of flour, add some cocoa powder, so the same volume that you take out, add some cocoa powder, the same volume, and add some white chocolate chips. So then you'll have like a double chocolate chip cookie. Super yummy. All right, so now I've combined all my ingredients. What do I do next? Hmm. Beautiful, so we're going to do that. Okay, so we grab our baking tray, and we grab some spoons that are easier to work with than a big one like that, and we're going to just scoop up tablespoons of the mixture. Okay, and it can be nice and rustic because it's a nice soft dough. Now, we're going to make sure that we leave enough gap for them to grow and, and spread out when they're cooking, so they can cook evenly as well. Okay, so once I've done that, how long do I need to cook these for? 15 minutes. Excellent, 15 minutes. Now, should I not look at the oven until the 15 minute mark, or should I look at the oven probably eight minutes to 10 minutes in? Yeah, why would I do that? Why would I check the oven at about eight to 10 minutes? Excellent, to make sure they are cooking properly and if the oven is too hot, too cool, just to make sure that they are, because you don't want to burn your cookies. Now, last but not least, what do you serve your cookies with? Milk, Milk hot, chocolate. hot chocolate, beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to place these in the oven that we preheated. Make sure your parents help you at home if you want to make these at home and here are some that we prepared earlier. Oh, so quick. <laughs> so quick and delicious and, if we do say so, pretty nice colour and texture. That's how your cookies should turn out at the end. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Thank you for your help. And I hope at home you had fun baking your own cookies and post some pictures up if you get a chance. <laughs>